All right, guys, how's it going? Welcome to Finn's Family Farm. My name is Micah. If you're new here, thank you for watching. If you're old here, thank you for coming back and watching. Most of y'all know the last, I think, video or two, it was we had some um, bad weather. And so I was prepping the meat birds so they won't get wet. Um, all the animals made it. All the goats and Titus. The goats and the dog made it. Mr. Finn has made it. And the rest of the dogs we have all made it through the weather. All the chickens over here are good. Chickens over there are doing good. So then after we had all that bad weather, it became a winter storm. The other day we had ice and uh, been down in a teen degrees. This morning, which is Wednesday morning, I uh, left work and it was 19 degrees at 7.15 in the morning. And so it's probably in the 50s right now. All this morning, when I came out here and feed all the animals, all of the waterers were frozen. So I had to break up some of the ice so the animals could have something to drink. Um, but yeah, everybody's doing good so far. I've just been hanging out, trying to stay warm. Midnight's staring at me. I'm surprised he's not yelling at me yet. Ain't that right, boy? So, uh, yeah, I'm just going around, checking on the animals, make sure everybody's doing okay, make sure their water's still thawed out. Um, we will be getting, I don't know if y'all remember, but uh, when we got the meat birds, we had lost 27 meat birds. And um, so now, instead of getting the meat birds the other 27 in February, supposedly now we're getting them tomorrow. So I have to get a place ready for them tomorrow or this evening or this afternoon. So they have a place to be in the morning when I go get them. Yep, y'all's water is thawed out now. Okay. So, uh, yeah, we've been doing good. It's still a little chilly outside. Probably upper 40s. So, tomorrow it's supposed to get a little warmer. And I believe next week we'll be back down to the 20s again. You're fine, Midnight. So now I'm just gonna make sure everybody still has water and food. And make sure no one's died. So we still have the American breast right here. I got a heat lamp on their water to keep it thawed. So I need to check, make sure it's um, still thawed out. Everybody's got water in here. They still got food. Everybody doing good. So 
They're all healthy and doing good so far. That's good. They might have a little bit of frostbite on their little combs. Other than that, they're gonna be fine and dandy. Let's go check on the other birds. As y'all see, I can't get in over here anymore right now because we blocked that off from the north wind. So I can't really get in there and check on everybody. But I can look through here. And see if I see anybody missing. But uh, I'll be going in there on the other side. But right now I need to make sure they have water in their buckets. Buckets are filled, full of water. So now I gotta cover the faucet back up so it doesn't freeze. So let's go inside and uh, check, make sure everybody's accounted for. And y'all see, this water is still frozen. Hey girls, how's everybody doing? Y'all doing okay? Huh, y'all doing good? I hope y'all are. Yeah. Everybody's accounted for, everybody's doing good. Yeah, everybody's doing good. Let's see if I can see any quail. I see one, two, three, four. I see all of them. Okay, they're good. Looks like y'all made a mess in y'all's pit over here. I can't get in there and clean it right now. So yeah, everybody's doing good. Um, it's not really much to do right now because it's cold. I don't want to do anything in the cold, but um, I still got to order parts for the tractor and finish that job up. Oh, I know. I told. I said. I told them already. But um, I need to order parts so I can finish up the tractor. Um, let's see. Uh, I, um, got a 55 gallon drum barrel, metal barrel, that I'm going to, um, do a video on. Um, I'm going to be doing some things to it. And y'all just have to see what I'll do. But I'm here with the meat birds. And they're, do they're doing a lot better. I hope y'all can see that. I hope it's not being focused on the wire. Yeah, so meat birds are doing good. They're getting nice and fat. Sorry ladies for telling y'all saying that, but it's true. Um, you know what I should have done was give them some more water while I had it open. I'll do that in a little bit. So yeah, everything's going good so far. And
Chickens follow me. Everywhere I go, watch. Here they come. There they go. I'll go back. They're sweet chickens. <laughs> to me, not to each other. So, we have um, two, we have two American breast chicks in the garage, and the brooder, and the little brooder in the garage. One of them died. Uh, the heater they had quit working or something, and we didn't know that. So I picked it up one day to see how the birds are doing because they were getting really, really loud. And one was dead. And one was about dead. And the other one was starting to get weak. So I rushed to the store and got a new heat lamp. And I put the heat lamp in there. And I started feeding the other one water with a syringe and they are doing so much better now. They're doing really, really good. So. Oh, and I still gotta uh, jack up the tractor and um, see what I can do about the brakes on that tractor. Cause I don't have a, a jack strong enough to uh, pick it up. So I have to borrow a friend of mine's jack pick it up so I can take a wheel off and so I could um, check and see what's wrong with the brakes on it maybe it needs this new shoes maybe I don't know I have to check maybe it needs a whole new brake system but um she's getting there she runs she works she's doing good just got to finish her up and get her cleaned up and maybe uh, maybe put her in some tractor shows one day so yeah guys everything's going good around here like I said it's just cold so I've been staying inside and just coming out checking on the animals are we so often and they're doing good they're doing really good we're hoping to hopefully have babies in, in maybe a month or two we don't quite know yet because we're not 100 percent sure if she's pregnant or not we think she is but we're not for sure so i guess we'll find out if i remember right they're pregnant for five months. So, so next month or two might have babies on the ground. I don't know. I hope we do. So, all right, guys. Well, tomorrow, I hope we go get the chickens, the chicks. And if we do, I'll take you all along. Hey guys, so the United States Post Office somehow lost my chicks. So I never got my 27 chicks. Somehow they got lost in the mail. So I had to call the hatchery and uh, get a refund because I never got them. So now we will probably order some more, maybe in the summertime when it's a little warmer, not in the winter when it's cold. So, oh yeah, so we uh, don't have the other 27 chicks that we're supposed to get. They can only last about three days in a truck and after that 
they're pretty much uh hate to say but pretty much dead so don't know how they got lost i mean if anybody knows chicks they know chicks are very loud but just wanted to update y'all and let y'all know that we are not getting the other 27 chicks because of the post office losing them. So, all right, guys. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. It is free. Uh, like the video, hit the notification bell. So that way you get notified when we make another video. Y'all have a good day.